From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good morning. I think the conditions this weekend, compared to some of the conditions we've seen over weekends past, are doing much better. Check it out in the valley, hitting the lower 60s out there across the area. Starting the day out with the possibility of some fog. That much is, you know, possible, sure. Out towards Siskiyou and Muddock County, clearing through the day very nicely, much like the rest of us out there with temperatures recovering into the mid to upper 40s out there and out towards the East Mountains. Struggling to get out of the upper 30s, we'll probably end up near 40 when all is said and done with it. Taking a look at the future cast, Let's take a look at the big picture because I think all of us have pretty similar conditions, right? 60s along the coast, 60s through the valley, and then widespread 40s and 50s through the rest of us. And really nice conditions out there. I mean, check it out. Not much in the way of cloud cover at all. Maybe a few lingering clouds along the coast. That's about it. Through tomorrow, very similar story. We might up, uh, kind of pick up a few more clouds as the system off to our north glances us, and that's going off to the east. Not going to be a huge weather maker for us. Again, really just some clouds, I think, are possible. Maybe some flurries and showers in the northern portions of the area, but it's not going to be too big of a deal. I think we're doing just fine as we head in the big picture. Looks like for the forecast snow totals, you can kind of see that system get uh, kind of pushed off to the east here, but we're doing just fine. Yeah, you can kind of see the possibility of those flurries up north, but uh, again, not a huge deal for us. Very nice conditions for this weekend. Check this out, though. A little bit of uh, kind of model variability creeping in as we head towards Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. It's this system here. That's going to push east with time here. Notice a few snow flurries possible with that as well. Snow levels probably 4,000 foot or so. And then as we head towards the end of the week, more consistent model signatures uh, kind of indicate that there's more systems moving through. I think we actually hold this above average precipitation pattern later into the middle and end portions of the week. But for now, through today, through tomorrow, through the beginning of the week, two thumbs up. In fact, well, one thumbs up, right? But either way, it's going to be good conditions, right? That really is a long and short of it. We're doing just fine through the next, I would say, few days, at least for the next three or four days. The real conditions that start to deteriorate a little bit uh, come later on. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in the seven-day forecast. You can see those chances start to creep in through Tuesday and Wednesday out towards Trinity County, widespread 50s for today. Hopping over to the coast just a little bit. You can kind of see what I was talking about with those 50s and near 60 conditions out there. Again, shower chances creeping in through Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, we're keeping those chances right now because some models actually have uh, no system at all or at least a lesser system, but some models like the American model actually have a more robust system. So we'll just call it chances for now, but again, next few days through this weekend and into Monday, doing just fine. Like I said, two thumbs up. We're doing really good out there, but again, frost possible uh, for the next, I would say, couple hours. Besides that, though, yeah, today, you know, you know, seal of approval from Brian right for the weekend. There's those widespread 50s near 60 up in the north coast up towards Del Norte County. Wind out of the north and east at about five miles an hour. Mostly easterly component out there. Again, shower chances creeping in out towards Tuesday, out towards Wednesday time frame and towards the end of the week. And then Siskiyou County, we have those upper 40s, lower 50s in spots across the area. Great weather for today. Pretty good weather for tomorrow too. Monday picking up some clouds. And then of course, much like the rest of us, falling in line with those shower chances towards the middle and end portions of the work week. Out towards Modoc County, widespread lower 40s out there in the mid elevation areas. Great conditions for today, good tomorrow too. And then much like the rest of us there, holding those upper 40s, lower 50s, heading into the work week. Checking out the Eastern Mountains, widespread 40s and even some 50s out there towards Shingletown, the highway corridor, down towards Quincy at 47, holding those pretty decent conditions too. Out towards the East Mountains, of course, as is typical, you know, rain probably won't make it that far, especially if it's a landfalling system pushing east. You know, we might get some uh, precipitation lacking through Tuesday and Wednesday. Wouldn't shock me to see some of those flurries or showers make it out towards the Eastern Mountains in that time frame, but uh, the chances definitely are lesser. Of course, we'll kind of watch and see how that evolves over the next several days. Through the valley, of course, rain chances holding steady. Near 60 pretty much throughout the extended term. I really don't see too much variability in those temperatures today. Of course, much like the coast, it's kind of in the upper 50s, lower 60s range out there, then hopping up towards Redding, up towards Red Bluff, Cottonwood, and up towards Whiskey Town. Check it out at 57 there. Fun fact, 57 is actually the world average temperature. If you combine every temperature on Earth, it comes out to about 57 degrees on average. So Whiskey Town, congratulations, you're the most average place on Earth for today. Yeah, check out those temperatures near 60. Great conditions for the next few days. Really good weekend, right? That is the long and short of it. A little bit of a average for those temperatures and prayer 
perhaps some precipitation creeping in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, much like the rest of us falling in line. And I think the Reading seven day kind of paints that picture, right? For most of us, we hold these kind of off and on shower chances through Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe a little more robust Friday and Saturday, to be honest with you. The signals I've seen on our models that we look at kind of suggest the late week systems will be a little more powerful than say the Tuesday, Wednesday one. But you know what, we'll get there when we get there. For now, the next 72 hours, just fantastic. So go ahead and enjoy your weekend. We definitely have the weather conditions uh, definitely permitting that here across the area. And of course, I'll be back with you at 12 for more fresh from the Weather NorCal Command Center.